Whoa, 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 whoa. Where do you think you're going? Stop. You better not wreck my intro. You stay put. No, no, don't go that way. No, 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 no. Okay. Yeah, yeah, go over there. You're fine over there. Aha, what is this? Look at this. This is amazing. Where'd he go? Yeah, you stay there. Just a cauldron? Just a cauldron, you say? I don't think so. Why, this is the Blastmaster 9000, of course. Look at it. You can't even see the bottom. It just keeps going for infinity. It's amazing. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Let's hope this works. I, uh... I can't really test it because if I test it, it uh, I'll have to move it and yeah. So let's just hope it works. I wasn't able to to test it, but uh, here we go. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! <laughs> Aww, the poor sheep. <laughs> oh, it's fun. So. Yeah, we're in the snapshot here. We're in a creative world. We're just having fun. <laughs> I love it. Ah, <laughs> uh, you can have so much fun with the command blocks now. That's actually really loud. Mm, I still haven't figured out what settings I should should use ever since they gave us more options here. Uh, but yeah, so in the like, there's been all these awesome map or command block features coming out uh, over the last few months. The thing is, most of them you can't really use. You have to use, like, all these MC edit filters and stuff, and it's just a real pain to do anything. But now you can pretty much do everything you want in the game using just command blocks, which is awesome. <laughs> it makes it so much easier. And, uh,. I think I'm going to be playing with command blocks a lot more. Not not in my single player, but uh, we're just goofing off here. Yeah, let's try Gast. Change the fuse time. Okay. Those are invisible bats, by the way, with TNT riding on their backs. Uh, oh, let's go game mode zero. <laughs> oh. I just want to apologize to anybody that's wearing headphones right now, like I am. <laughs> Leap of faith! Ah! Ah! Oh. <laughs> Darn it! Ah! There was. Ah! I threw an ender brawl, but I. I jumped too soon. Darn it! Well, that was embarrassing. Let's do it again! Woohoo! <laughs> ah, that's how you save face. I did it right that time. Awesome. <laughs> um, okay, we're not just derping around here. I've actually got some stuff to show you, and I'm, I stayed on top of that ladder for about two minutes or so, so that should have spawned a bunch of zombie pigmen down in our gold farm. And I will be able to show you what's... What's wrong with the gold farm currently, and also what I've done to it. Um, so let's head back into the nether, but below the nether ceiling. So we can investigate things. I'm still getting used to <laughs> the new shaders and stuff and the map mapping. Uh, Minecraft looks a lot different with it. And here comes the rain. Oh joy. Uh, but I can do this. Yeah, I think I think about 50% or less is good for that. I'm still trying to work out all my volume levels since this update. Because uh, that all changed. And, okay, so we're going to go back in. And, so I've been, I've been working on the gold farm a lot uh, since last episode. Just off-camera, kind of repetitive, boring stuff here. But there's a big part of it done now, which I'm about to show you. Do, 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 do. Let's go up. And also, since we spawned a bunch of zombie pigmen, we're going to be able to see why it's not yielding so much gold uh, at the moment. There is quite a bit of gold around. Like, uh, pigmen are falling and, and uh, dying on the ground here. You can see I lowered all the nether racks so that they can far fall enough. 
Did I say far fall enough? <laughs> fall far enough um, to die. So we got a few drops in the little amount of time we were up there. But if we go up, this is the thing I've been working on, by the way, this giant square you, you're seeing. Uh, but first, before these guys... Actually, there's not as many here as I thought there would be. But basically, the problem with the gold farm at the moment is I got all these spawning spaces close to it where they're still uh, gathering. Instead of spawning in my trap here, they're spawning on the outside. And I have to make it so that absolutely none of them spawn on the outside here for it to work the way I want, because... Ouch. Because <laughs> currently, if one of them spawns on the outside, then I gotta wait, like over 30 seconds usually for them to despawn and you can see there's a lot of guys in here which tells me I still have some spawning spaces I have to deal with but this is the thing I've been building this cage all around it to protect it from gas we want to protect our pistons and our string and our our redstone you can see there's a piston missing there because <laughs> the gas shot it um, I should have built this a long time ago though hey guy um, and I didn't want just like a, a plain, plain old like solid stone brick wall or solid iron bars or something. I wanted uh, to put a pattern into it if I could. So this is what I came up with. It's like this is the center over here and then it does this zigzag sort of thing. I think it's pretty cool. I like it. Very big though. It, I, I had to dismantle that beacon up on top of the ceiling there to get enough iron to finish this and I think I still missed a few spots somewhere too um, but yeah then all the zombie pigmen they fall down these little holes here and we gotta set up some collection system below to pick up the gold uh, they drop and that is about where we're at with the gold farm currently so it's coming along we will get it done um, I've been clearing a lot of land though. I kind of want to mess around with beds in the nether <laughs> just to see if I can somehow clear land quicker th with that than I can with my pick because... Oh, do I dare risk throwing ender pearl? Oh, I almost hit one. I almost did. Because currently, like, it goes quick, but it uses up my tools very quickly. Um... I could use TNT, but it's kind of wasteful. I kind of want to try just to use beds. Yeah, let's try it. Let's have some fun here. I don't know if this is going to work too well. I think I've tried it in the past, uh, clearing netherrack with beds, but it was like too slow or something. I don't know. Uh, I am going to stash some stuff here. I, I went for some wool, and I got a regen potion here. I think if I could stay healed... And if I made enough beds and kept them in my inventory, it should work pretty quickly, I would think. I'm <laughs> I'm worried I'm going to blow up here. I'm not sure if I can even, even take the hit. Um, yeah, we'll make a bunch of beds. I think you can recover them. And I definitely want to keep my armor on, because otherwise I'll for sure die. And I went and I got a blast protection for helmet, and I have... A Blast protection pants. Um, level 4 on both of them. So I should be pretty much maxed out on blast protection with that. So this is like my best chance of surviving a bed. Unless I set up my beacon with resistance on too. That would be ideal. Oh, please live. Don't lose all my stuff. Okay, those guys didn't get mad. <laughs> I think the bed was gone though. Um... The worst thing about it is it makes all the fire. Ooh, yeah, fire resistance is a must. If we use regen as we do it, though. And I got a string farm, so getting wool for beds isn't a terrible idea. I <laughs> definitely need a fire resist, though. Holy smokes. It does seem to clear a lot of space, and I can do it quick. Yeah. Yeah, this might actually be a good good way of doing it. Okay, we're going to try it again. This time I'm really pushing for efficiency. I want to see if I can clear 
a big portion of this chunk in a little amount of time. So, oh, that guy's gonna make this annoying. <laughs> I don't have any arrows. I left them in the chest. Uh, so we're doing fire resistance this time, and even regen. I got tons of beds made, ready to go. So we should just be able to hammer this out real quick. Oh, sometimes the bed does drop. I saw it drop that time. That's good. That's good if we can recover it. Yeah, maybe the main problem with this, I kind of get stuck in a crater as I go. It's fine if you're digging straight down. Oh! I was not paying attention. <laughs> oh, man. Ah, okay, we're not clearing that way. <laughs> ah. It did seem like it was going kind of quick, though. I didn't realize I was that close to death. I wasn't even watching. Because I was only losing like a heart, heart and a half last time. Ah. Okay, I watched the video back, and it looks like I wasn't taking consistent damage every time. Sometimes it's like nothing, sometimes... Like, I lost over five hearts, I think, that one time. And that is why I died so quick. Um, I'm guessing nothing survived. <laughs> uh, I think it was in that hole there. Looking pretty empty. <laughs> Darn it. Uh, what did I have? I had diamond, full diamond armor on. I had a silk touch pick. Uh, my bow was about to break. I think my shovel was in pretty good shape. Did nothing survive? Like, really? Or was I... Oh, it's over here. Okay. I figured at least something should survive. Like, come on. Oh. Good, we got the, the helmet. How much... That was a brand new helmet, wasn't it? It's like a quarter broken already. Oh, look at this. We got... Oh, if I could get my boots back. <laughs> We're done with the nether today, by the way. I, I'm done derping around with this. We're going to do something else. Well, lots of beds survived. Oh, sword. Ender pearls. <coughs> Oh, I still have my cold. Like it's been over two weeks, and I still having trouble talking and coughing and stuff. Looks like that's it. So we got our sword. That's a, that was a good one. Our axe. Lost our sh our shoes though. And our picks. Uh huh. <laughs> we're still in the Nether here. But we're going to get out really soon. Uh, I just want to do a little enchanting. So we stopped by the dual blaze farm for old time's sake. I haven't been here in a long time, actually. And I want to enchant a bunch of fishing rods. And then we're going to check out the new fishing mechanics this episode. I brought a looting three sword. So there is a good over 350 blaze here. So this is going to be pretty crazy, actually. Activate the crusher. Still getting like 10, 15 frames per second, which is a lot better than it used to be. And I have my memory up to two, two gigs with the launcher, so it's the blaze farm works a lot better than it used to, which is awesome. Um, so I'm gonna throw this and switch to the looting sword, hopefully quick enough. Get all kinds of blaze rods. <laughs> um, let's get out of here. So, we're going to put 30 levels into each of the fishing rods. I also want to repair my boots, if we can. Although I might do that off camera. Okay, so, first one, I want to get the, the, the what is it called? Ah, not Leer 2. <laughs> There's some, some enchantment that uh, allows you to find better stuff. And it's not Leer. Leer makes it so you catch fish quicker. But the one that gets you better stuff is like... I forget what, the, what it's called. 
Uh, hopefully we get it here, though. Come on, come on, come on. No. <laughs> Darn it. Try again. Maybe. Um, these boots are actually really old, and they cost like 34 levels to repair now, so I should probably name them. I'm not giving up till I get this, I think it's Sea of Enchantment or something. Unbreaking 3, layer 3, that's a good rod. But it's not quite what I was looking for. Do, 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 do. Come on, come on, come on. Alright. Oh, I think we're almost out of experience. Okay. And last chance. Luck of the Sea, that's what it's called. And we got Leer 3. So you can get them both on one rod. I wonder how much it would cost to rip, to put them together. Too expensive. Too expensive, aw. <laughs> Darn it. What if we just do... Do I have any unbreaking books here? I kind of would like to have a rod with all three on if it's possible. Mm, nope. I do have one back at my main base, though, at the man cave. Let's see how many blaze rods we got from this. <laughs> well, I'm going to be um, smelting lots of stuff, it looks like. That's a lot of blaze rods. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, over 10 stacks. Wow. Okay, so we're going to do one more big batch of blazes here. We got like 340 in there at the moment. Uh, we're going to do an experiment too. People always tell me to name my tools and stuff so that when I repair them it's cheaper, which is something I almost never do. And I'm kind of curious. I've never really experimented with it either though. So I could be wasting tons of levels. Who knows? Uh, I kind of don't think I am though. <laughs> we'll see here. Um, so these boots, I think I've repaired them close to 10 times now. I believe they only costed about 18 levels the first time I repaired them. Don't quote me on that though. It might, let's just say early or low low 20s. Now to repair them costs 34. So even if we do it this way, yeah, it costs more if we do it that way. So that this is the way to do it. This is uh, this is like the, always the way to do it. Um, if you're repairing a, a diamond pick, just make an unenchanted diamond pick and use that to repair it instead of using the diamonds directly. Uh, I find usually works best. Um, but yeah, it costs like 34 levels now to do it, so we're going to try and name it. How much is that going to cost? 37. Okay, so let's get 37 levels off these fools. Uh, activate the crusher. Ooh, there's a lot in there. <laughs> Probably shouldn't be walking around with 35 diamonds on me. Uh, Alright, losing a few. It's fine, it's fine. Didn't lose that many. And once again, we're going to try to get extra blaze rods by switching to the looting sword. Hopefully I did it quick enough. And here comes the XP. <laughs> I love this blaze farm. It's so cool. I think if I was to do it now, though, I would try to set up like a minecart system instead of the, the conveyor belt down there. Because uh, you can automate everything with hoppers and like cactus to destroy the minecarts and, and move blazes that way instead. What did I say? 37? This should do it. Whew. A lot of XP. Just to name it. Just to name it. That doesn't even repair it. What I'm wondering is how much it's going to cost to repair it after we've named it. Uh, we'll call these the Vintage Beefs. I don't know how to spell Vintage Beef. <laughs> I think that's it, right? Vintage Beefs. Ah, let's go beefers. Okay. So now to repair it. 
down to 27, so it's seven levels cheaper, but every time I repair it from here, it's going to increase. So, I think if you're going to repair stuff, don't name it right away. Only re rename it if you've repaired it like five times or more, I'm guessing, is the trick. Then it starts to become cheaper again. Wait, I forgot what it was. 27? I think it was 27. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> oh, and there goes the anvil. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, so I tell you what, guys. Fishing is still pretty boring in this game. <laughs> I've been at it for over 20 minutes now. I just wanted to see what I could get. I'm using the, the Super Lear 3 Luck of the Sea 3 fishing rod here. Uh, turns out I didn't have an Unbreaking 3 book around. I wanted to see if I could put it on there and how much it would cost. Um, but I guess I can't do that. And I enchanted two more of these. Or maybe three more. Did I miss that? I really did. <laughs> Darn it. Um, and it looks like you can get all three enchantments on it. This one, though, only got Luck of the Sea 2 and Leer 2, so it's not quite perfect. But it's pretty close. This one, though, I should be getting good stuff and quickly, but it's... Yeah. <laughs> I'm about done here. Uh, a lot of people have told me I should really have built this above ground so that uh, I would catch more fish. Uh, I've gotten that those comments so many times already, and I believe, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter if you fish above ground or, or underground like I am now, uh, unless, this is an important thing, unless it's raining. Oh, here comes a fish. Got him. Uh, if it's raining, then you have a better chance of catching fish if if you're above ground. Uh, and I think it's by like 1.66 times more likely to catch a fish or something. But uh, even with Leer 3 on this thing... Woohoo! Spin around. Spin back. Oh, I pulled it too soon. He was just about to get it. <laughs> anyway, so about 20, 25 minutes of fishing. This is all we got from this fishing rod. Uh, 18 raw fish, 5 puffer fish, 8 raw salmon, and that is it. <laughs> so definitely going to be doing automatic fishing, I think, because that was pretty, pretty slow going. Didn't get any clownfish with this fishing rod, but I did get one before with with this one. Um, so anyway, uh, these are what I was mainly going for, though, these puffer fish. I was hoping I'd get maybe some treasures, too. Uh, and I want to try eat one. <laughs> oh, I'm not hungry. Let's get hungry. Puffer fish are very dangerous. You have to have a special well-trained uh, chef. Not Is it a chef? I think it has a special name, but somebody that trains for years and years cutting these fish to get rid of all the toxins. Because if they cut them wrong, they will kill people. And I'm not getting hungry. There we go. So, uh, in the game, the same is true from what I've read. It's my first time trying one. <laughs> wow. Poison four for a minute. Nausea. <laughs> that is awesome. If only you could make a splash potion that did that to people. <laughs> that would be awesome. Um, oh, you know what? I would like to go to the lab. If only this guy wasn't here. Is he still here? Pretty sure he's in there somewhere. Oh. Oh. 
I don't see Jeff. <gasps> He's in there. Okay. Whoa. That wall looked messed up for a second. Um, I need a brewing stand. I probably still have some around here. Gotta be careful not to jump. <laughs> as much as I'm tempted to. I like to jump down my stairs always. Oh, this could be fatal. Is there any brewing stands? Yes. Cool. Oh, he almost got me. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. And I will snag some of these. So there's a new type of potion in the game, apparently. That you can brew with these puffer fish. Let's try that out. It's going, it's going, good. Um, You can probably extend it, I'm guessing. I haven't made one of these yet. Pufferfish makes underwater breathing potion. Potion of water breathing. Okay, for three minutes. Um, I'm going to try glowstone first, actually. If it can't use it, it won't. Yeah, okay, so there's no tier 2 level for it. But it can be extended, it looks like. That's good, that's good. And all those do, I think you can breathe underwater without suffocating at all. But we'll try it out. Alright, cool. So we'll grab one of these. Let's go... I guess we got plenty of water around. We don't have to go far. Make our great escape. Uh, let's, just, let's just jump in the water here. Okay. And we filled it with water. <laughs> water breathing for eight minutes. Yeah, so I, I'm not I'm not drowning at all. No, the air bubbles aren't going down at all. Is it like in Terraria, the gills potion where you suffocate when you're in the air? <laughs> where it reverses? Doesn't seem to. That's pretty cool. You still can't move quick underwater with it, though. Uh, which would have been nice, and I doubt you can... Yeah, you don't... You can't dig stuff quick with it, either. You still need Aqua Affinity uh, to do that. With the new rendering code of the snapshot, something that really caught my eye is these leaves here. Look how easy it is to see through them now and to see the stone and the dirt behind them. Uh, before it was pretty much solid green and even if I change if I turn off mip mapping don't think that does anything. That's only for distance stuff so it's like I don't know just the the way it's rendered has changed. Ooh. <laughs> yeah let's not mess with that. I really like this one. The bump mapping one. Uh, okay, so comments for today. Uh, Etho, what games are you excited for for this fall slash winter? Uh, I believe Terraria, the update is coming out, I think, on October 1st. And there's a very good chance I'm going to be playing that. I might even be posting it on YouTube, which is something I've been looking forward to. And also, a big game I've been wanting to play for, like, I've had my eye on it for, I think, at least two years now, is Starbound. Um, it seems like that's coming out soon. Or at least that's the impression I got that's coming out soon. I don't think they've set a date, but I could be wrong. And I'll probably be playing that too uh, when it does. I've been, I've been really looking forward to that. Uh, but yeah, so that's it for today, guys. Today's a little bit of a a derp around episode. Next time we'll get to building. <laughs> oh man, I can never find the, the right one again. Is that it? No. Next one. There we go. Okay. <laughs>
So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day, and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.